Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Oh, you spot the fake? Round one, let's begin. When a car accelerates forward, you are thrown backwards against the seat, just like this air balloon. However, a helium balloon in the same circumstance mm. is thrown forward. Place some- Okay, that, yes, because helium is lighter than air. So the air is effectively being thrown behind the helium. Sand into a container. Then grab some non-washable oil-based paint. Carefully but thoroughly mix the paint with the sand. Add more as needed. Once it looks thoroughly coated, leave it to dry overnight. When you come back to it, you've now successfully made hydrophobic sand. As you can see- Ooh, um, it is possible an oil is hydrophobic material, but this sand looks very different. It's a lot finer than the previous one. The sand refuses to get wet and water beads on the surface. If uh, life yeah. gives you lemons and you need to write a secret message to your friend, you're in luck because all you have to do is smear lemon juice on a piece of paper and let it dry. I've done this It before. won't look like there's anything on the paper, but when your friend heats up okay. the paper carefully without burning it, the message will reveal it. That one I've actually done, so we'll eliminate that one from being fake. You've seen all three videos now. Pause to vote in the comments. Okay, I'm going to go with B. That sand looks so much different than the previous clip comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was fake, you'd be wrong. Okay, yeah, I know about the balloon one. This wasn't a real way to make hydrophobic sand. I switched out this painted sand with some okay. actually hydrophobic sand that I bought online. Yeah, that sand looks so different.